Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to talk about the um, Galaxy Book Pro. Please note, this is the Pro, not the 360. And the reason why I got the Pro is because it is just so damn good. It gives you such good bang for your buck. Um, uh, reason being, this is my Dell XPS 13. This computer has uh, been with me since 2015, uh, around September 2015. So. It's about six to seven years old already, and it still works really well. Uh, I use it mainly for work, but uh, this is really dense. It's really heavy, and um, actually, if you feel the Galaxy Book Pro, you will feel that it is completely different. So, right from the bat, you can see the difference in thickness is just very, very obvious. It's very, very obvious, and even though this is a 15-inch laptop, and this is a 13 inch laptop the 15 inch is much much lighter and much easier to carry compared to the 13 inch laptop so I bought this to replace this um, partly also because um, I don't know why the Dell is double the price um, for me I had to get the OLED screen Res resolution was not that important and for those of you who've been uh, who've been researching this you do know that it only comes in the full HD screen so only 1080p Whereas the old Dells um, came in 2K, so now of course there's no 2K option. You can only you can only get a full HD 1080p or a 4K option, but that brings the price up way higher. So if you want a 4, 4K OLED, um, that this one comes with a touch screen. Yeah, that comes with a touch screen. You're you're gonna you're gonna pay uh, I don't know like close to 2K. You know. So um, whereas this is about only like 900 USD, so it's about half the price. You know, it's about half the price, and uh, if you want, um, if you want the white version, I wanted the white one, like the one of the Arctic white armrests, not the armrests, the um, the palm rests, because the black one, I know, like in recent years, they changed the materials, so uh, it got a little bit better, but um, it's hard for you to see here, but um, it's very sticky. Yeah, it's really sticky. So it's st it became sticky and uncomfortable. I don't know what happened to it, but the white one, um, the white Dell doesn't have that issue. It's made of like a like a different like um, glass weave or something like that. So uh, I I I I've been using this since the pandemic started for uh, remote work, which is fine. I mean, I connected to an external keyboard, a wireless keyboard, and that's fine. But then I um, I pasted a sticker on it. So now, uh, stupidly enough, um, I caused the uh, laptop to kind of swell. Yeah, it's, it, it swells up and it's just like, it's, it's good for remote work, but I, I wouldn't want to be using this personally just because it feels icky. And of course, this is an LCD screen. It is sharper though than the, um, than the Samsung. So, but of course, I think this is more of a multimedia device and it is also actually a really good work device. Um, it's just that you, you don't expect the same kind of like text uh, resolution, the text quality. Let me just open it up. This can be opened up with one hand. So you can see right off the bat, the OLED screen is fantastic. It is amazing. And um, the LCD screen, even though it's 2K, it can't match the OLED. Just look at the bezels here. The bezels on the old Dell are so much thicker at the bottom uh, compared to the new one. And this is, I have to say, this is way lighter and it is way thinner than the Dell. Um, yeah, so anyway, I could have gotten the 15-inch model, but this th that 15-inch OLED would have the touch and everything would cost like almost three times this price. And actually, for the design, this design still wins hand down, hands down for me. It looks a lot pricier than the um, specs than the price su suggests, just because of the design. It is so slim and light, and I can't wait for Samsung to release a new version of. Uh, of this computer after a year or so. So anyway, for now, we'll just have to be content with the uh, uh, 2K, uh, no, no, the Full HD screen. Let me just turn it on for a while. And let me just show you what it's like um, to watch a video on an AMOLED, uh, you know, on this screen here. Yeah, so this is a non-copyrighted uh, film, like a video that I found, and actually the speakers aren't that great, so I'm actually using my uh, Sony XP10 for the music because the speakers aren't loud enough. 
and just make it full brightness. So this is full brightness. Okay, and the great thing is that with at any angle, it still it still works well compared with the Dell where it's LCD. Then if I were to open it, just let me just uh, yeah the color the shift in colors like there's it's virtually night and day. Okay, so let me just turn this off for a while to show you the difference in the sound quality without the speaker. And obviously, it's nothing. Sp Oops, it's nothing special. Uh, it's nothing to shout about. Yeah. I mean, these are regular, you know, laptop speakers. They are. They're okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. But when you're at home, you want something a little bit louder. So yeah. One thing I like about the Samsung is that it has, if you're using a Samsung Galaxy phone already, it has a ton of, uh, a ton of different um, apps that you can use. So the, for me, the most important is uh, Samsung uh, Notes. So I take a lot of notes on my phone. I'm using an S21 Ultra with the, the pen, with the S Pen. So I, I also have a Note 10 Plus. So all my notes are uh, stored here. Once you log into the Samsung store, you can also see them. You can see your pictures. Uh, you can also transfer your stuff using Samsung Flow. So I felt that the way they integrated um, uh, this, you know, these apps on Galaxy phones and tablets to uh, PC was really smooth. Yeah. The only thing is that, yeah, you, you know what? If you look closely enough, you can see pixels. Well. <laughs> It's a 15-inch screen, and it's a full HD resolution. You're gonna see pixels, but well, you can just um, you know take a step back. Yep. And if you want the 4K, if you want a 4K screen, obviously this is not the laptop for you. But then you'll have to pay at least I think double the price. Yep. So, I mean, it's up to you uh, which whichever price you have. I already have another laptop with a 4K screen, but that's for gaming. That's thick and heavy. Yeah. So um, you know, different uh, different things for different uses. Yep. Okay, so back to my thoughts on this. Now, this laptop is actually, it exceeded my expectations for the price. Because regardless of you know, how, how low price it was, there is nothing like the feeling of holding it. Like when I first held it, I, I thought it was like a mock-up. It was like an empty piece and then they forgot that they somehow didn't sh place any batteries inside or it doesn't, it doesn't seem like there's any internals but actually it is really really um, I don't know it's the lightest computer is they I, I think I, I don't know how they work their magic in it but they even found space to uh, fit these HDMI port and oops I, I touched the screen here yeah so they even found this this space to, to um, fit the HMI, HDMI port and it doesn't seem like it would be able to work, but it does. And the battery life is amazing. So right now, uh, I'm at full brightness. And um, I still have, I'm at 80%. I still have about five hours remaining. So um, actually, we, you can use this for 10 hours. Yep. So it works really, really well. Um, I'm going to do another video in future comparing it with the... Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, the, uh, the, the other tablet that I have. Uh, strangely enough, this is even lighter than the 12-inch Tablet Plus of the keyboard. And of course it is lighter than the 15-inch gaming laptop. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, how it looks like to use those things after, um, you know, once I have some time. But you can just see here, like the difference in dimensions. Like which one would you want to carry, you know? Uh, Heavy 13-inch laptop, very expensive one from Dell. Okay, okay, all right. It's, it's sharper. It has touch, um, or you know something that is way cheaper, way thinner, thinner and lighter, 
And if you do need the specs, if you do want a game, you don't want to settle for something that's in the middle, right? I consider the Dell XPS 15. Um, that had, I think it has an RTX 30, 3050 Mac. So that looks, that's very pretty and that has touch, but that is 4K touch. But you're getting a middle of the road GPU. And for that price, you might, as, you might get this and a regular gaming laptop. You can get two, two laptops. So why would you consider that? You, you know, unless, you know, I, I do admit the design is really good. And, you know, maybe in the future I might consider that. But for me right now, I think having two separate laptops, um, one for gaming and one for work is a better deal yep, than buying, you know, an all-in-one that is, that looks pretty, but is not too great at doing um, either of, you know, gaming or productivity. Well, no, it's, it's that, that, that was, that, that was better for productivity, but it's not great for gaming. Yep. So, so these are my thoughts on, on the Galaxy Book Pro. Um, not the Pro 360. I didn't want to buy the Pro 360 because I heard of some, like some reviewers. Uh, they said that the, the hinge is not too stable. So like, for example, when, when you, when you push the, when you push the lid, that thing will wobble like crazy. And, and when that happens, um, you're not going to be able to like enjoy your experience, right? I mean, you, you want a touch screen when you, when you touch it, you don't want it to wobble and yep. Why would you buy a, a PC to touch it? I mean, <laughs> you'd buy a tablet for that, right? Why, why, why would you want to buy a 360 degree hinge PC to use it as a tablet when you can just get a tablet? Yeah, so yeah, those are my thoughts. And especially for those of you, I think a lot of people already own tablets. So if you already have tablets, you wouldn't need a touch screen in the first place. So I'm, I'm a firm believer in not paying for things you don't use, uh, for features you don't use. And I know it's tempting to get everything that has everything inside, but um, I saved time of cash of this. And uh, yeah, anyway, I, I hope this video um, helped you uh, in your purchase decision. If you liked it, please give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.